Tack, herr talman. I en tid. Thank you, president. In a time of instability and changing global order, the EU-China summit was a useful reminder that there is another unreliable superpower. That's a conclusion we can draw. While the EU and the West show solidarity by condemning Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine, China has voiced criticism of Western sanctions against Russia. The EU must have a clear and strong voice if China is actively helping Russia to avoid sanctions. We need to speak out about this situation. Nor can we forget Beijing's persistent military threat to Taiwan, while Lithuania is being punished financially for its relationship with democratic Taiwan. The communist regime in Beijing is now bringing economic pressure to bear on Lithuania and uh, it's threatened by its proximity to the war in Ukraine too. China has a lot to prove. The war in Ukraine underlines the importance of deepening cooperation with stable, credible and democratic allies. We must strengthen relations with the US in order to deal with China in a constructive way. The EU should examine the possibilities for free trade agreements with the US. At the same time, the EU should not strive to isolate China economically as neither China's, China's neighbours, the EU nor the US, will be more secure. The EU must instead persuade China to strengthen its stance on Russia, collaborate where possible, compete where needed, confront where necessary. For uh, one minute. Lord is yours.